series, so gotta go. The bottom of the tenth, two teams with a combined frustration and no world championship. Two out. The Cubs are one out away. Into center field, another hit, and it's a one-run game. Oh my god. We might be witnessing the greatest game in Major League Baseball history. Here's the 0-1. Oh my this god! This is gonna be a tough break. Oh There's something endearing about the underdog, and we were always the underdog. You know, we, we had a little dynasty going there. 1907, 1908, the Chicago Cubs were back-to-back -back world champions, and then it all just went downhill. 1945, Game 4 of the World Series. We were up two games to one at that point, and we lost and lost and lost. In 1969, we were killing it all season, and out of nowhere, this black cat runs onto the field, goes past the Cubs' dugout. We go on to crash and burn. 2003 happened. We are five outs away from going to the World Series. Pushing into the stands and couldn't get it. And Steve Bartman knocks it away. That's awfully close to fan interference right there. We went on to lose that series. Bad thing after bad thing after bad thing. I don't know if anyone truly believed that we would ever make it to the promised land. By 2016, oh my God, maybe this will be the year. like a movie. We got the this song I'm about to play is called We Got the Fire, and I wrote it about the Cubs, hoping that they win the World Series this year. Okay, there's a time to be smart, and there's a time to be aggressive. It's called baseball! You've been playing it the whole season! People have been born, rooted for this team their whole lives and died without ever seeing them win it all. My grandfather being one of them. I'm gonna go talk to my dad to see if he wants to uh, go up to Wrigley Field. We're just excited, man. It's baseball season. It's October. It's playoff time. Let's go. Gonna watch it burn. Katie Day, um, we are headed into the World Series, and I am headed into the studio to record a song about the World Series. When I wrote my first song about the Cubs, it was in San Francisco in 2014. Nobody cared about it <laughs> at first. I had put this song on YouTube, and it maybe got 300 days in six months. The thing that got me through it was thinking about how my challenge was absolutely nothing in the face of what the team was going through. It helped me do things that I don't think I otherwise would have been capable of. Indians win game one. Button the ball, advancing the runner, taking smart pitches, being aggressive when it's time to be aggressive. Quit taking the first pitch like it's the thing to do. You gotta, they give you that fastball down the middle, knock it out the park. That's how you win World Series. That's how you win championships. It's Cubs time, baby. Let's go. Let's see, where am I? This is my car, Ernie. He's named after Ernie Banks. I have Cubs jewelry, some Cubs hats. I have this painting that I did in high school. Just Cubs stuff everywhere, you know. You know how it is. It was my grandpa who really got the whole family into the Cubs. And unfortunately, he spread that love to everyone else, so now we have to suffer all because my grandpa. Like, his basement was just Cubs everything, and we would listen to games with him on the radio. So grandpa may no longer be with us physically, but we know that he's here in spirit, and we can't let him miss out on the big games. So we put his urn 
with its little cub hat in front of the TV to watch the World Series alongside us. So it's like we're doing this for my grandpa up in heaven. I wish my grandpa could be here to see this. It's been kind of a hard year for my family. My dad was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma earlier this year. My dad had a mass in his neck. It was bothering him and he'd gone to see an oncologist. The prognosis was okay. They said that they could treat it with some advanced chemo, but uh, there was nothing that was guaranteed. It really scared our family. I think it would be absolutely amazing to go over there, have a little father-son bonding time at Wrigley Field. I kind of want to do this for my dad, so we'll see. Game two continues. Addison Russell. The Cubs have even the series. The Cubs even the series on the road, and we are headed back to Chicago. Chicago's got to be feeling good headed back to Wrigley. This ain't shutting down for hours. The stadium is actually where people, right next to where people live. There is no getting home tonight. It's behind me, it's in front of me, and this is the tail end of it. You would have thought we won it already. We are on the road, destination LA. Getting ready to play some music. Angeles. Everything looks the same. Although I guess we're kind of used to just like sprawl and strip all. Oh yeah. Where I'm you know? from? Geez. Yeah. I was like, okay, now's my time to really pour all of my energy into this with my with my music, and I just have to figure out a way to get it out there. Cubs fans kind of like latched on to the music because it was so authentic and it was so much a part of like my heart. And I felt like my trajectory was kind of paralleled with their trajectory because, you know, the better they did, the better I was doing and I was like not giving up and they weren't giving up and it was just like, it was great. One, two. from their first world championship since 1948. Like we can't have nice things for more than 10 minutes. You gotta play baseball. You gotta advance the runner. You gotta take some pitches. They gon' walk you. You gotta be smart. And I hope this video gets back to the Chicago Cubs. Defensively, you're killing us. It's really why I can't have any sympathy for anyone who has sucky teams because there's just no team suckier than the Chicago Cubs. It's about loyalty. Like this team has been garbage and yet everyone still stands by them. I truly do believe in, in curses because there's just no way all this bad stuff can happen to this team unless it's cursed. So my dad's still in treatment for uh, his, his non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. He just has these bouts of like being really tired. So I came to my dad's house because he was not uh, answering his phone. I'm not sure if they're home or not. Let's see. Hey dad. Hey Jake, come on in. So what do you think about going over to Chicago for game six and seven, just hanging out in Wrigleyville? Well, you know <laughs> They're playing in Cleveland. I know. I know. I just thought it would be fun to go over there and just hang out in Wrigleyville and we could maybe sit in a bar if we could get in. I don't know. Might as well. It'd be fun, you know. Yeah. When they win, we could sell. I know. <laughs> I know. They got to win both of them, so. Oh, yeah, man. That's tall task. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in. I'm, okay. I'll get permission from your mom. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right. We have been driving all night. 
We got in the car and drove straight through. Right now, I am freaking running on adrenaline. Oh my gosh. I, I still can't believe this is happening. You know where we're going? Uh, we How many people are out? The lead is back to seven here in the ninth inning. 1,508 games. There hasn't been a cycle, and this is Russell. Cubs have forced the game set. This is how the Cubs won game six. Listening to my advice. Whichever team has it tomorrow night is going to win it all. <laughs> oh, I am just so set up for heartbreak right now. We going to close it out in Cleveland the way we supposed to. Right in front of LeBron James. Championship. Back at the wall, it is gone! What a start in game seven! One nothing Chicago! I'm just so uncomfortable. Like, we need to score like 20 runs to feel comfortable. And in the top of the fourth, Davis came in, goes back, well, get it off the wall! The lead is two, it's three to one. This is You've got to remember this for the rest of your life. This happens, okay? Here's the 0-1. This oh is going to be a tough play. Yes! Oh! The Cubs win the World Series! Yes! yes! Dad and I shared a moment, and I just can't even begin to say how amazing that was. What do you think? <laughs> I'm going to Disneyland now! Yes! Come I don't know if I can explain the magnitude of what that means. kidding we won and the hat flew off like he threw it they say it's just a game but it's not it's bigger than that it's this family thing it's a generational thing you know it's about loyalty to something greater than yourself over 108 years It was something that I dreamed about happening my entire life. And then me doing some cool stuff with my music was another dream that I had. And to have those two things come together and happen at the same time, it was like the most beautiful thing that's ever happened in the history of mankind. I'm never gonna stop being a songwriter, just like I'm never gonna stop being a Cubs fan. Watch it burn.